Hello. This week we've been working away and uh, it's not finished, the bit that I'm working at. So there's no point showing you that until next week. So now we're going to do a moving day video instead. Ah, it's probably for the best, as he's ruining the boat. Save yourselves. Abandon Captain the channel. Captain, it isn't ruined. It's perfectly fine. Everything is fine. Ah! Anyway, whatever you do, don't... <laughs> Oh my god, where's the stairs gone? It's all gone crazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's just have a nice calm moving day. Oh my god, save yourselves. I've had in the channel. Okay. Right, and climbing into the engine room. <sighs> In today's moving day, we're going to be going up the River Lee, and it's Saturday, so there's going to be a lot of boaters around, as in rowers. So I want to just check that everything is okay, so I'm going to have a look at the dipstick, because I don't want any breaking down. Okay, let's go in and have a look at the oil. Oh. Okay, stand there. Alright, it'll do for the journey. But we'll need to top up. So more importantly, we're gonna have a look to see how much diesel we have. Because I haven't filled this up since Newport in August of 2020. It was a full tank. That's nearly that's 18 months ago. And the only way to check is to undo this and actually physically have a look in. But I don't want to run out of diesel on the way either. And then kill a rower. This cap on the diesel tank is the first thing that I got done on Linda. I got SRF, the boat rod, no longer in existence, uh, to uh, put this cap on. So that's why everything's new, shiny and... Uh, look, at all, uh, look at all the moisture in there. Well, smells of diesel. Oh look, it's me. Show this, an old piece of wood. I guess this would have been Chris Cable's dipstick. Let's have a look. Wow, I've got loads of diesel in there. Right, done. Okay, now I just have to climb out over the engine. Okay, straddling the engine. This is great cinematography. Um, because I've been doing engineering at this end, I have a lovely, nice entrance there, which I'll, I cut out. Yeah, that's next week. We'll next week. But um, I also don't have a, any stairs anymore, so I have to jump up. That's what I have to jump up. So, shall we? Graceful. Okay, let's get this mask down. Take it nice and slow. Don't forget to remove the safety cord. And this is why we put the mast up at the end of the day. Come, come on, Michael, I get through, board. get through, you, see if you can get you through do the this to make it tangle difficult. of. Yes, come on, Michael, I've, can you? Come on, it's easy, you're just getting onto the boat. I've got a rucksack on, it's big. Now, just come through, <coughs> come, come across the boat. Don't do that again, alright? Well, so Very you, annoying. Are you not going to go through the mast? No, I'm going to come off. No? Yeah, yeah, uh, there we go. No, I'm yeah. not. I'm taking this off. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, demonstrating for the viewers 
why, or I should say viewer, um, why uh, we put the mast up at the end of the day. Yeah. Hello, Michael. Oh, hi. <laughs> I think he's genuinely angry. I don't know if that was don't know if that was faked for the camera or genuinely angry. <laughs> oh no, uh, it's just faked for the camera. Oh, oh well. Oh well. Uh, see, this is how lovely Michael is. He's come down specially to uh, push the boat in as I move out, so I don't have to do it. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> See you in a couple of hours, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. yeah. Oh, lovely. Well done. So we might be in a bit of trouble with the camera at the very front of the boat going under not this bridge but the next one. Normally, it, well, this is fine, um, and though there hasn't been any rain, so the river going down the weir is not elevated, so it should be fine. But uh, if it was raining, it would be quite close. Blow the horn just in case a rower. Okay, note to self, has to go down a little bit more. And it can do, 
I've got another couple of inches. If I'd dropped it right down, it would have been fine. But uh, just a little scrape, there's a little bit of bridge. Anyway, let's carry on. Those railway arches, a young man called Avro started making his aeroplane there. just coming up um, just here but I have a rower bearing down on me behind so I'm gonna slow right down uh, before I make my crossing yeah, I'm gonna see them behind me This bit here is the natural river Lee. So next week it's going to be raining. Uh, starting tomorrow there's going to be a ton of rain, which means the levels here are going to rise significantly. So when you see the, see the gap there, where the steel is underneath the concrete, that will fill up to the concrete. So I've got to ensure that my ropes are sufficient, that they will deal with that lift and not wander off down the river. Um, and also sufficient that when the river drops down again, it doesn't tie the boat up. I was um, feeling a little bit paranoid about the engine. Uh, it just had a, a weird tone to it. It was running fine. And uh, well, now I know why it had a weird tone to it. Um, look at the big lump of plastic wrapped around the prop. If that amount of plastic was wrapped around Georgia, the engine would stop. What a beast. 